Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing uh, with some general uh, deck so basically the lore behind today's video will be I was playing some friendly battles against my uh, good friend recently and I've come across this deck uh, I mean we kind of were reminiscing again about like very old metas uh, in the various games and we've come up uh, with this deck which was obviously a very old meta and I def decided that I'm gonna just uh, play with it uh, in today's video because first of all it's free content and second of all maybe it works and basically no one knows in that case I'm gonna be the man responsible for creating meta and that's definitely something that I would like to at least try to see so my opponent will be shuffling some bits and pieces for now I'm gonna play a general in the back because Honestly, why not? My opponent will be playing Longsword and unfortunately I won't be having a Skeletons uh, to contend that, so that's gonna be a bit unfortunate. Fortunately for me though, uh, the bullets plus Longsword shot don't kill the Junker, so it's gonna be a very lucky interaction for me, because honestly, I didn't know it's the case. So my opponent will be actually having a 40 mil, so it's not like the absolute beginner of the game. Obviously, it's not like the veteran or something, but at the same time, at least nice to see that I'm not gonna be playing a zero metal player with default deck, which is pretty much the case most of the time with this game. Um, we're basically run out of time in the single mana time, so I'm gonna just play a footman hat and then follow that with the general. Uh, this footman hat should be blocked should be able to block both of the bomb blasters which should be absolutely perfect for me no troubles have been detected i'm gonna just pretty much set up a, a general push and that's gonna be pretty much the playstyle you are gonna be willing to play with this deck uh, i'm gonna play some skeletons to block this uh, long sword shot because as you probably could have guessed it hurts uh, and I'm gonna just set up uh, a second general, which is gonna be, I think, a very strong call. These T-Rexes will be very uh, hard for him to handle, and the Madness will pretty much help all of my push uh, to wreak havoc uh, around his towers. I'm gonna take one instantly, pretty much, and get the attack on the Viking Tower right away. I think the Super Devil should be able to get rid of uh, his longsword. All of that being said, we have a general on the Viking Tower, not quite the 3 star, but it was a good attempt in this game number 1. Let's jump to the game number 2. And in the next game of today's video, we'll be facing a zero metal player who, at least I hope, is uh, referencing the grand country of Niger. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be just... Uh, uh, playing the game. My opponent starts with a flying bomb and then falls down with Necromancer. Obviously I could have played a lightning against it. and now that the situation is being present I'm gonna use a lightning and actually I didn't know that Ape has more HP uh, than the Necromancer. That's gonna be actually a nuance I'm gonna learn myself from today's video and uh, I'm gonna just play some drunker to uh, stop the ape and now the ghost. I'm gonna also play a general because he played a machine gun which is definitely something I didn't expect but I have to accept at this point. And my opponent will be playing Skeleton Horde which I need to respond quickly to because either way my general won't get value on offense and that's definitely something I wanted to get since my opponent didn't contest the general too much at the bridge. I'm gonna play some t -Rex. To minimize the damage from the phone cake. Unfortunately for me, my opponent won't split it around the tower, which was definitely the best play. Since I've uh, wasted uh, all the potential counters, I think he should be able to realize that if he didn't, well, that was unfortunate for him because he missed a huge uh, potential to get damage. I'm gonna play the super devil, pretty much a sacrificial super devil at this point, but I want to uh, keep my my drunker against my opponent's ghost. Now I have also a skeletons and next card will be good against ghosts as well. It's gonna be a footman keg so pretty much I have the ghost covered but uh, as you probably know it's better 
to be safe than sorry. Either way, we're gonna be uh, hitting the double one time. I'm gonna actually tell the Drunker to be, delete the opponent's Necromancer pretty soon. Uh, my opponent will be playing some phone hack. Honestly, I could have reacted to it with a, a standard response, which is uh, the uh, uh, phone hack, I mean footman hack. Um, but I decided not to, honestly, I was more focused just on uh, uh, attacking, so I kind of wanted to save mana for attack, and the opponent actually didn't uh, give me any trouble, uh, neither defending nor attacking, so I just ended up leaking mana. Very sloppy of me, I know, but uh, it doesn't really matter at this point, because the game has been absolutely won, and I guess this uh, kek I will actually react in a proper way because honestly I can afford it and that's gonna be a good example how to beat a random mess kind of decks which are not optimized around one mechanic for instance if you're playing Funkek you usually want to include other uh, cards that are also countered by the rolling steel just to create a bait synergy that's a synergy that has been known for a very long time and my opponent tries to create something new obviously props for creativity but against me it won't work and that's gonna be the game number two let's jump to the game number three of today's video and it looks like we're gonna be actually facing our friend niger once again who's gonna actually apply a general into his own deck, which is pretty surprising, I would say. But at the same time, I'm not gonna complain, I'm gonna just bomb rush him with troops, because I'm pretty suspecting him of uh, having uh, a scalpel hold, and against that, he would have absolutely nothing, because obviously, uh, we have used a, a Fultman Keg to defend his uh, Fond Keg. Many Kegs in this sentence, but it doesn't really matter we get away with pretty much a very good trade. I'm gonna play just a uh, footman hat, try to kite this ghost with a skeleton. This footman should be able to turn and that's pretty much exactly the thing that uh, we wanted from this position. I'm gonna play general in the back because honestly I don't see the reason why we shouldn't. Obviously he could counterplay us with the machine gun but I'm not scared of that play so we might as well just uh, go for our comfort play. I'm gonna actually snipe the uh, gunner with the uh, drunker which is very convenient because we won't be taking as much damage and at the same time we're gonna be having a like a very strong counter push uh, which I don't think he can physically hold so that's gonna be already a good thing. My T-Rex will be able to delete uh, the devils which is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna play skeletons against his apes because honestly, why not? That's pretty much the uh, reason behind uh, many of my plays. But it's kind of true. If you can manage a control over the uh, pace of the game, you can make uh, a lot of plays. And uh, that's why I'm saying this phrase uh, uh, very much in uh, my videos, where I say that I can do something because honestly, why not? Because if you're having a control over the game, you can pretty much do anything and your opponent will be uh, forced to respond to you. So basically, if you want to become better at the game and have like easier games being played all together, it's best to start learning how to win control over the map because once you do that, uh, you'll be pr pretty much playing the game on the easy mode. And with that being said, we're gonna win the game number 3 relatively easy, let's jump to the game number 4. And our next opponent in today's video will be Windy with 20 medals and uh, Skeletons as the first card, which pretty much means for me that my opponent will be playing a Super 8 2.6 cycle, because it's a very common deck in Boom Arena to see, he's gonna actually playing a uh, Flying Bomb, which I definitely didn't expect. But at the same time, what did I really expect? That's another good question. I'm gonna play some uh, T-Rex to tank for the general. Obviously, I would love to the general to tank for the T-Rex because uh, this way, at least, <laughs> at least the T-Rex would get more value. But at the same time, everything turned out pretty well because my opponent messed up the defense and 
uh, with me getting away with a perfect defense, I, I wouldn't be surprised if my opponent will resign in the uh, next 30 seconds or so, because that's pretty much the nature of Super Ape uh, Cycle players. I'm gonna play general and once again I'm gonna miss the tank edge uh, against uh, some key cards and I miss the footman cake, which is definitely not good. And uh, with that being said, we are still okay because obviously Malpon doesn't have the defensive setup against General and he's already towered down. So I can only imagine he's getting a very uh, paranoid effect against me. He's setting up a push in the back right now, which is definitely not something you want to do against a deck like a General. Usually, you want to either counterplay uh, with your uh, forces or you want to uh, just uh, apply pressure. Basically, uh, in this kind of matchup, obviously, the general is the uh, side which has way better potential of scoring damage, so you kind of have to be more reactive, you have to be very annoying for your opponent uh, in the way that you want to like be always uh, on the side that is able to respond to uh, some plays. Uh, I'm gonna play just a uh, footman cut. Let's see how my opponent will react. He's gonna play a flying bomb once again and this time he will actually score hits, make it two. So props to him obviously but I don't think it's gonna be enough. I'm gonna play a jumper on his gunner and he actually will get away with a pretty uh, nice snipe. Obviously the T-Rex will be still alive because I can protect it and uh, I'm probably playing a flying bomb which is definitely not a play since I can easily overwhelm him uh, anyway. General will be staying on the Viking Tower and that's gonna be a 3 star uh, to finish out another 2.6 Super A player. So very cool game to see. We get away with the win and let's jump to the game number 5 of today's video. And the last opponent of uh, today's video will be a Rio Greener. He's gonna start with some bait cards, which is Skeletons and Ice Tiny, and then he's gonna play a uh, Phone Cake against us. So we're gonna obviously use this opportunity to just play our plan because uh, his attack pretty much ended and uh, our attack has the potential only to excel and we're gonna just use this opportunity. My general will get some nice hits and T-Rex will be able to kill the swordsman so we're gonna be able even to threaten his tower. If he doesn't react, he's gonna react though so the tower won't be gone. He even says incredible which uh, uh, which is outstanding. I actually leaked the mana, I wasn't careful right here and he's gonna play necromancer honestly i don't think it's usually a good play but this point he's not pressuring me with uh, any sort of counter play so i'm uh, like delighted to just play a uh, to just play it uh, slow and basically play a, a lightning which is obviously minus two mana trade so you should definitely do it only if you uh, are 100 sure you cannot get counter play but my opponent is playing very passively so i may as well just go for this play because he's not threatening me in any way shape or form so i'm gonna play a t-rex in the back just to cycle it my opponent will be actually playing uh, Swordsman. Uh, unfortunately, the Necromancer will be locking uh, onto the uh, T Rex, which is definitely not something I wanted to happen. But my general will continue pushing through and through and through, and I think my opponent cannot stop this attack right here because he just didn't get the influx of mana he needed. I'm gonna honestly set up one more push. I'm gonna play a Footman Hut just to uh, try uh, to keep my tower alive. Uh, let's see if I'm gonna be successful at that. My opponent plays a footman, I mean phone cat, which I'm gonna be able, easily able to uh, defend. I'm gonna actually play a general with some cards in the middle. Let's see if my opponent can react to that properly. He plays swordsman, which is fine call, but I think he should be way more elegant with his reactions because his tower is basically falling and he's acting as if everything is absolutely fine. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not fine for him. 
Uh, I think my next general will basically kill him. Uh, since I have lightning as well, I think that's gonna be just the last nail of the coffin. And I didn't even need a lightning, I just did it to flex. And that's gonna be the last game of today's video where I'm gonna actually take it three survival. Bond actually leaves me a good game, which is very nice to see. Uh, usually that doesn't happen, my opponents usually either spam me uh, with noob emote or uh, just leave without emoting uh, at all whatsoever. So it was actually nice to see that my opponent appreciated the game that he unfortunately lost. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video and I hope actually uh, you like this uh, very old general deck that I found with my friend recently testing some kind of old decks, so yeah. That's gonna be it and I actually hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you aren't already because I post Boomerang content every single day and I think you don't want to miss my uploads. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.